Sir, severe storms overnight are being blamed for at least one death in Metro Atlanta and also knocked out power to more than 140,000 Georgia Power customers. The cleanup is still underway right now, and we have team coverage starting with 11 Alive's Bo Beth Yates live in Brookhaven. And Bo Beth, you have been speaking with people waiting for their power to just come back on. That's right, uh, Jennifer. Residents we spoke to say they are happy that Georgia Power crews are out and about trying to restore service. And while Georgia Power says they've made significant progress, they say there's still a handful of pockets without service. The wind on Peachtree was massive. It was noisy. I mean, you could hear it, you could see it. And we didn't lose power, but I, where we are right now, they did. Georgia Power spent the day restoring service to customers. We saw crews on Windward Way in Buckhead and on Collier Ridge Drive in southwest Atlanta after storms ripped through the area Tuesday evening and into the overnight hours. A good friend said no rain, no power, and she lives right over here, so I knew that something had happened. That something was widespread power outages caused by strong winds that knocked down trees and brought down power lines. It was an abrupt power outage and we thought it was going to be temporary. The night wore on and it was off and it was off and it was off. Only our street was out in this location and I could see there were broader outages. According to Georgia Power, at one point more than 140,000 residents statewide were without service, many of them right here in Metro Atlanta. Luther Dupree and his family were among them. It just completely shut off. No worries, the kids, you know, they'll find play out of anything. Dupree says his family spent more than 15 hours without service, but they used the opportunity to get outside and disconnect. We had to go out to go get food last night. Um, uh, no TV, but that was great. We needed that. So, you know, as bad as it was, we tried to be optimistic about it. So far, Georgia Power came by and they saved the day. Now, as of noon, Georgia Power has said they had restored 135 customers, and right now they're continuing to work in areas that have not yet had their power restored. Live in Brookhaven, Bobeth Yates, 11 Alive News. All right, Bobeth, thank you. The line of severe storms led to tragedy in Cherokee County with a man killed after a tree fell on his car. 11 Alive's Brittany Kleinpeter reporting from Canton on what we know about the victim. A memorial now sits where a young man lost his life just hours ago. Officials with the Cherokee Sheriff's Office say 27-year-old Levi Wilson was found dead inside of his car Tuesday evening as severe storms move through the area. The Cherokee Sheriff's Office got a call about an accident with injuries. They say a tree crushed his car while he was driving along Vaughn Road in Canton. A spokesperson with the sheriff's office says he was the only person in the car. And there is an accident like this, they were definitely out there for hours. This was the only death reported following Tuesday's storms, but authorities say they received over 100 calls last night of reports of trees on structures, downed wires, and downed trees. I think having the only fatality in last night's severe storms, it's hard on our community. I think everyone's hearts are going out to that Wilson family. Reporting in Cherokee County, Brittany Kleinpeter, 11 Alive News.